are now on the, the BAE system exhibit at DSCI 2013 in uh, London, UK, with uh, Jeff Seal, uh, the program director for the Type 26 program. So, Jeff, thank you for uh, having us. Uh, can you first uh, start by introducing the Type 26 program? Indeed, it's a, it's a pleasure. The, the Type 26 Global Combat Ship Program is, is the new generation surface combat for the Royal Navy. It will, it will replace the existing Type 23 frigates, um, entering service from as soon as possible after 2020, right the way through to, and be in service right the way through to the 2050s, 2060s. It's being designed as a multi-mission, flexible capability, able to undertake a wide range of, of roles. Um, from, for the UK programme, it's specifically designed for anti-submarine warfare and general purpose operations. We can also operate in, in other uh, capabilities around air defence and more general purpose roles for export customers in the future as well. We're currently in a four-year assessment phase where we're developing the detailed design of the ship. And we're DSEI this week, we're unveiling the latest design, which you can, you can see here. And uh, we're in the process of developing the detailed systems, the layouts, starting to choose the equipment that will go onto the ship. And, and the assessment phase will run through to the middle of this decade when the MOD, UK MOD, will make its main investment decision and, and then plan to move into the manufacturing phase of the programme. A key focus of, of our team's work over the last uh, 12 months, 24 months, has been developing the detailed design to ensure that we can offer an affordable design which will meet the, the multi-mission capabilities. So we, are in, we have been through a process of evolving the design to make sure we optimise the design for, to make it affordable and to achieve what the Royal Navy needs. So some of the key, the key design features which have been developed over the, the last couple of years are particularly around you know, the missile silos. So we have um, missile silos at the front end of the ship and here for the, for the Sea Sector Vertical Launch Air Defence Missile System. Um, we also have a Vertical Launch Missile Silo which uh, is, is there for future, future capability growth. Um, so it's not for a particular system at the moment, but to enable the ship to have a lot of capability for, through life, um, that we have a, a vertical launch silo there. The other key area of, of work on the design of the ship has been around the mission bay, which is this area um, forward of the hangar. Um, some earlier designs of the ship had a mission bay at the aft end. Uh, we've now integrated the mission bay and the hangar into a, a large adaptable space capable of taking a wide range of mission mission loads. Being able to open the mission bay through into the hangar gives a lot of flexibility for future aviation platforms, uh, future UAVs or, or, or different helicopters, but being able to isolate the mission bay into a, into a dedicated mission space enables us to embark a wide range of loads for different operational roles. So it can take um, a wide range of boats to support special forces or maritime security or boarding operations. It can take containers to carry disaster relief stores or medical supplies or different operational loads. Or it can be used to, to operate un unmanned underwater vehicles or unmanned air vehicles in the future. Okay. May you mention the size of the mission bay? Um, the mission bay um, is, 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 is a significant open space. Um, it can carry about uh, 10 containers um, or alternatively up to four large rigid inflatable boats. Um, it's designed as, a, as an open space uh, so it has great flexibility through life. The mission bay is really the core of what enables us to de deliver a wide range of multi-mission capabilities at an affordable price. Um, great flexibility in a cost-effective way through life. And uh, finally, uh, can you give us details regarding uh, either anti-ship capabilities or land attack capabilities for the Type 26? Yes, certainly. The Type 26 is designed to, to support a wide range of military roles. So in terms of um, your land attack capabilities, the primary land attack weapon on the ship will be the medium calibre gun at the, the front end. This will be a, you know, a five inch gun capable of supporting enhanced range munitions in the future. So that, that will provide a you know, significant increase in land attack capability for the existing Type 23 frigates. The vertical launch missile silo that's built into the front end of the ship has the, has the future capability to the future capability to embark future missile systems, whether it be for land attack or surface-to-surface -surface missile systems, 
whilst not embodied into the design of the ship at the moment, the, the, the silo will be there to support future future upgrades. And obviously, the the ship can carry a full range of naval helicopters, um, so it can carry a Merlin helicopter, a Chinook helicopter to support land forces operations, um, and, and that will provide its main, main its primary means of, of anti-submarine weapons and and anti-ship weapons at this stage. The Weir BA systems are very excited to be involved in the Type 26 Global Combat Ship Programme. We are de developing the design to deliver a, a capable, affordable and supportable Type 26 Global Combat Ship which will support the Royal Navy through to the middle of this decade and provide an excellent programme for, for British industry to support the UK core shipbuilding capability through to the 2030s and beyond. Thank you very much uh, for your warm welcome and for all the information uh, you gave us. It's a pleasure. Thank you.